Hey guys, what's up? This is Denforce W, and I was just playing some Call of Duty when I thought that I'd make a video. I was going to the store yesterday. I wanted to get um, Sergeant Johnson from Halo, but I saw something even better. It's actually quite a find nowadays. So I'll show it to you right now. It is the Red Elite Assault Elite. And he is quite it's it's quite um hard to find him nowadays in stores. In fact, I'm shocked that I found him. So yeah, let's just look at the box art and Oops, sorry. Turn that down. Keep it on the menu. Sorry about that. I got a new monitor. I'll show you guys that in another video. So, yes, this is the Elite. Let's look at the box art. Um, the box actually has the blue Elite on it. Um, combat version, and then blue Elite on the back. It says that, I mean, it looks like he has a carbine on his back, but he does not come with carbine. Or carbine, whatever. Um, I wouldn't call him rare, he's uncommon, but not really rare, he's definitely rare now, especially in stores, he's like impossible to find, um, but he's definitely special, I'd call him special, um, he's pretty much online only now, like I said, it's a miracle that I found him, he was the first elite I've gotten. And they're pretty cool. Let's just show, oh, you guys can't even see it. Let's just show you a size comparison. Here's a. Uh, let me straighten them out. This is Master Chief. And this is Sergeant Johnson. So yeah, he's pretty huge. But as you know, if you're watching this video, I assume you know you've played Halo campaign or even multiplayer. They fight very crouched and low to the ground, running around like kind of lizard thing. So you just put him in his fighting stance. Which is somewhat difficult to balance him in, but it's not too bad. You just gotta lean him forward a lot. And he also, his coolness meter doubles when he's in this pose. Then he's like the same height as Master Chief. Taller than Johnson. Much wider too, much stronger looking. And everything's falling over! On a clip. Um, I'm not gonna take plasma pistols out because they were a pain in the butt to put in. But they each have um, the little pegs. I put one in his back and it's it's not coming out. Um, let's see. Let's go over the detail. McFarlane, once again, went crazy with the detail. You can even see the, um, the little holes and posts. Not holes, just little. Yeah, little holes in the uh, under jumpsuit of his armor. Which is pretty sick. Um, as you can tell, his paint is the standard, um, not honor guard, but step up from soldier, like, uh, I think, I think they're captains, but they're just the ones, like, I remember in Halo 1 where you see one, you're just like, oh crap, when you're on Legendary. Not quite as frightening as the gold elite that makes you pee your pants on Legendary, but still quite scary. Um, articulation, his ankles move, knees move, I wish a big improvement would have the second knee joint actually be posable, it's two joints in each hip that kind of rotate different ways, it's kind of tricky to get them to rotate at the same time. Something about McFarlane figures is when you first get them, all their joints are really stiff, like I... It was so hard to get his shoulder to move. Um, just 
because, I don't know, something they do with the paint, but you really gotta, like, crack and loosen up all the joints. Um, he's got that, he's got some kind of, like, ab articulation. These figures, I don't know any McFarlane Halo figures that actually have regular waist articulation, which I think is an improvement over the old stuff. Um, rotate it. wrist, elbow, um, rotate the arm, and it kind of has like a half ball joint, it's weird. Neck moves a little bit, just a little bit of up and down, and then you got up and down on the head, and like side to side rotation, which is kind of weird. The detail on the mouth and the head is absolutely outrageous. It looks just like they do in the game, better even. So it's pretty sweet. One thing that I wish they would have done is uh, give his plasma rifles a nice coat of the shiny plastic that he has on the rest of his body. Because these seem to just be like they're dull plastic, they're not shiny. It just seems to be against everything that the Covenant weapons normally look like. So that doesn't make any sense. Just so you know, the uh, chest is removable. Uh, the shoulder pads are removable. Both of them. And the helmet comes off. And there's actually detail on his head when you take the helmet off. Kind of weird looking. The helmet looks really cool. So you just shove that back on there. Um... So yeah, it's really cool. You can't really get them anymore for any kind of cheap price unless you get extremely lucky like I do. I did. Um, you know, it, some stuff with the articulation and balance is kind of frustrating. Uh, he's not the best figure in the line or the best mold because there's many different kinds. The red one and blue one are going to be extremely hard to find, but if you like elites, then of course you should pick one up. You probably have one already. The ones you're going to find around now, at the time of this recording, is um, just the tan ones and the brown ones. Aren't very exciting, as composed to the campaign colors. But, yeah, it's pretty cool. That's it. Hopefully you'll see some more videos from me at a higher frequency very soon. Have a good day. Get myself in frame here. So, um, it's really cool. One thing I really well, oh, crap. So he's really cool. One thing I wish they would have done that's crooked. Come on now. Oh, maybe if the legs of the tripod were at the same length. That would probably help. Yeah. Okay. There. Oh. This is awesome. I need to tighten this thing somehow. I don't know how. There's a lot of bloopers on this one. Finally not talking for 15 minutes and I have to edit it down. Alright.